Hello everyone, I'm going to thank the birds for a 10 kilometer toss at the end of this video and if that's what you want to see you can jump in and watch that but I thought before I take the birds out for a toss I'll quickly show you one of my project breeding pairs and we'll look at some of the things that you can learn by looking at the genetics of your birds when you're breeding them. So this is the pair of young birds but first I'll get the parents out and we'll have a quick look at them. So this blue bar is the father and at first it doesn't look like there's anything special about him but if I open up the wing you can see that he's in the middle of the molt, so he looks a bit messy. But you might be able to count that there's actually 11 primary flight feathers there. His other wing only has 10, which is the normal amount for a racing pigeon. You might have seen the video I made in the past about counting the primary flight feathers on a pigeon. But yeah, 11 flight feathers in this wing. And if I pick up the hen, again, she's quite heavy in the molt, and this time you're going to have to trust me because she's dropped a couple of flights. But the hen actually has 11 flight feathers in both wings. Like I said, she's in the molt so you can't see them all. You'll have to trust me that she actually does have 11 in both wings. Her colour is a little bit different. She's an ash red spread, and I can prove it. A lot of people might think that she's a mealy or an ash red bar, but I'll show you in a second how we can know that she's definitely an ash red spread. So now that I've introduced the parents, take a quick look at these two young birds um, and the very first thing we can tell is that these are both definitely hens and the reason I can tell that is because the mother is ash red which means that any sons she produce will be ash red neither of these guys are ash red which means they're definitely hens another thing I said that we could learn was that the mother is definitely ash red spread and the way I can tell that is because this baby is a black. The gene behind black is of course spread. Now spread is a dominant gene, which means that one of the parents had to be expressing it. The father was a blue bar, clearly wasn't expressing spread. So the spread must have come from the mother. So we can tell this is definitely an ash red spread. Now the point of this project was to look at uh, supernumerary fly feathers, extra fly feathers in the wing. So we'll take a look at the young birds. The little black hen only has 10 flights in both wings. And it's the same with the blue bar, only 10 flights in each wing. I am a little bit surprised about that. I kind of expected to see extra flight feathers in the first generation, considering both parents expressed extra flight feathers in their wings. That could mean that there's two different genes causing the extra flight feathers in the parents, and the young birds might be heterozygote for both genes, but because they're at separate locus, they don't interact together. It could be could be anything else. I need to keep doing some research. Uh, these young birds are obviously too young to race in the main series this year. There is a little sprint series halfway through the year. I might be able to get them ready for that, we'll see. Otherwise, I'll try and fly the next year. I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get a baby cock. This one and the black, both being hens, because I would have liked to pair one back to the mother. But I might just pair the parents back up again later in the year and hopefully I'll get a young cock bird out of them then. Anyway guys, I thought that was a little bit interesting, something you might like to see. Two things that we can learn just from looking at the babies from one pair. We know these are both hens, and we know the mother is definitely a spread. Anyway, I'm going to get these birds ready for a toss, and we're going to take them out to 10 kilometres. Alright guys, this is toss number three, we're at 10 kilometres. I think the birds might beat me home today, so I've got the security camera on. That will catch them coming in if they beat me home. The resolution is not too good on the security camera, so I apologise for that if that's what we have to see. But it's time for these birds to go up. Let's go. All right, well, they've already cleared off. So I think they might be me home today. I'm gonna pack these baskets up and race the birds home. So the birds did beat me home, but it took them a while to come down. They flew around for about five minutes, which we're going to have to train out of them. But both the GPS trackers are here. Let's let these birds settle down. We might have a quick look at the GPS tracking. There's my opal spread. I think she'll be an important part of a breeding project at the end of the year. But at the moment, we're just training her as a racing pigeon.
Well, this is some really surprising data. I really wasn't expecting to see anything like this. Uh, clearly the birds got split up somewhere through the root. I'm not sure if a falcon got into them or if they just couldn't decide which way to go and they decided to split up. But what is interesting is if I overlay where the previous toss points were. They've obviously sought out some familiar ground, but I would really like to see them take a more direct route. I'll put the tracker back on them tomorrow because I'm going back to the same point and hopefully the results are a little bit different. Well, that GPS data was very interesting. But the birds seem to do that toss pretty easily. I think I might try and take them there twice tomorrow. Two 10 kilometer tosses. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Maybe click over here for another video and I'll catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully with two toss videos.